but the hope of the coming of Christ will inspire your heart. You may have high mountains to climb, but the hope of the coming of Christ will enable you to get over those mountains. You may go through some very challenging times in life, but the hope of the coming of Christ that burns brightly in our heart, we can take the hand of Jesus and he will lead us from here to eternity many years ago. Thomas Dorsey, not the jazz musician, but the Christian hymn writer, was to have a concert, a concert in St. Louis. He was living in Chicago at the time. And as he was living there in Chicago, his wife was nine months pregnant. And his wife said, darling, please, don't go tonight. It's a snowy Chicago night. The wind's blowing in off Lake Michigan. Don't go. And he said, you know, I've got hundreds of people waiting for me. They're at the concert. I really think I ought to go. He took the train that night and traveled down to the concert, left Chicago. It was an amazing concert. At the end of the concert, he got a telegram. And the telegram said, you are the, you are the, you got a telegram. He answered the telegram. In that telegram, in that, in that telegram, he said, you know, I get phone calls at all times. In that telegram, it said to him, you are the proud father of a baby boy. Then, it said, your wife died in childbirth. He was absolutely devastated. As you can imagine, it was really a, a very devastating, a very devastating time for him. Then, on the way home, he immediately came to the hospital. As he came to that hospital, he went up to see that baby boy, and the doctor said, I have something very tragic to tell you. Your son has died. Ooh. Thomas Dorsey felt so incredibly guilty, amazingly guilty, that he couldn't any longer have a Christian concert, couldn't sing, couldn't play the piano. He left and went to a little rehabilitation center. And there at that rehabilitation center, he tried to get his health back together, but he just couldn't do it. Um, he was broken in health, broken in spirit, so incredibly discouraged. One day, after he hadn't played the piano for literally weeks and months, he would just sit in his room lonely, weeping, crying. One day he walked to the piano, and as he sat there, a tune came to his mind, mm -hmm. and words just began to flow over him. Mm. And these were the words, precious Lord, Take my hand, mm -hmm. lead me on, and help me stand. Through the dark and through the night, lead me on to the right. I'm tired, and I'm weak, and I'm worn. Through the storm and through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, and lead me home. These words were written by a man whose life was crushed, crushed by sorrow, crushed by disappointment, crushed by a dark valley. Precious Lord, take my hand. He wanted to go home, home to a land where there was no sickness, home to a land where there was no sorrow, home to a land where there was no disappointment. He wanted to go home. He longed for that day that Jesus would come and the sky would be ablaze with the glory of Christ. That he could see his wife again, that godly Christian wife. That he could see his, his son again. Precious Lord, take my hand. Whatever valley you are walking through, whatever darkness you're experiencing, Jesus can take your hand. Jesus can take your hand. He wants to lead you home. He wants you to be ready one day when he comes again. Would you like to bow your head as Charles sings, Precious Lord, take my hand.